Hi, it's good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. I'm just talking a little bit about the uh, the Armistice Day of 11-11-1918. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, and how powerful the 1111, actually 111122 is two master, three master numbers, really, um, that all come to a one, which is new beginnings. So mm-hmm. it's so uh, good I, to see I, you, Andre. Yeah, you. Good to see you. you have yes, a beautiful yes. backdrop. That's gorgeous. <laughs> Thank actually, you. I was trying to change it, but uh, it's a little complicated with StreamYard because you can change it for a different type anyway. Whatever, it's good. Yeah, I like it. I like it because it's all it's autumn and I love autumn. So yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. I know Linda's coming. She may be just coming in a few minutes, but um I I first want to thank you for um allowing me to have you on here today. I I it's one of those days that has very fortuitous for me. Uh last year on this day, my husband opened up his office. So it's our one year anniversary of his office, which is Congratulations to my husband. I'm so glad that he's still in business. (laughs) And uh, I also um, wanted to talk a little bit about um, how we can do manifesting today. This is the very best day to manifest for all of us. Uh, I did a show on uh, election day, trying to keep the vibe up, you know, trying to keep everybody sort of not freaking out. That was a day we all needed to be positive. But once again, today is another day that we need to stay positive and keep that vibe going. Hello, Linda. Hi, Hi Linda. how are you? How are you? Good. How are you? Are you right now? What's that? Yeah, we're on. Yeah, we're live. Yeah. I was yeah. going to put my makeup on as I was. That's okay. You still can. Everybody is okay with that. Uh, Andre just put his on. So. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Majestic and those beautiful vistas there. I know. Isn't it great? I yeah. Know. He surrounds himself with, with sunlight and beautiful leaves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just getting yeah. in there in the background. I know. It's cool. Happy Veterans Day. <laughs> yes. Happy Veterans Day. I was just saying that. We were talking about the armistice, which was 11-11-1918, was signed on this day, and then changed to Veterans Day. And uh, so for all veterans out there, we can't thank you enough, honestly. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I lost Very... a, a cousin. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe once we moved in World War II. And uh, okay. back, you know, when we went to uh, France, we were able to see his gravesite. Oh, they buried him in France. Yeah, really? with all the oh. other, All the others. That, you know, okay. where they came off. At, what was that battle? Uh, the Sorbonne. Was that it? Or no, maybe that's World War, World War I. Um, you, you're talking about on the um, on the water, yeah. on the water, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Normandy. Normandy, Normandy, that's it. Yeah, yep, yep. So I have my father was in World War II. Uh, my brother was in Vietnam three times. My other brother was a uh, Marine, and I have nephews and cousins that were all in the Marine Corps. So I send them all my love. Fortunately, didn't lose them, um, sure. you know, during the during those times, but. Oh, the Battle of the Bulge, Connie. That's what I have. I have the Battle of the Bulge. <laughs> Sorry. Not trying to I have the it. Battle of the Diarrhea. Oh, oh. Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> what are you running away from, Linda? No, no. I'm just, I'm just teasing. I got my double wide JC pennies that keep me in check. Oh, well, that's good. That's really good. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> A little bit of humor keeps those vibes right up. Thank you so much. (laughs) So, um, you could be one of these, you could be one of these MAGA people. They're probably experiencing a bit of that right around now. Oh, I believe they are. I just absolutely love this. I know I got specifically Beto and uh, Stacey Abrams. And now I, when I find out what the government was doing, the state government. Yes. They probably could have very they probably were winners, but they were taking away votes and cheating like crazy. Yep. But anyway, I heard that too. Ron Johnson too, right? Ron Johnson and yeah. Rand Paul. Yeah. 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 And it, it starts with, how did Mitch McConnell win when he had a 4% approval rate? And they no say kidding. he won more people than were there. Mm-hmm. Something's mm-hmm. going on. But, yeah. but if we say anything, you know it will happen. 
Oh, now you're whining because it's on your shoe on your. On it doesn't your matter. Whining. They're the ones that that are whining. They can't believe they didn't do a landslide. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's like why are people being Debbie Downers when really we did fantastic. We did okay. We did, and yeah. we're still I, in the running God, right now. We got the house. Mm -hmm. This one lady in. Um, I can't think of her name. She's for the Senate race. And she's catching up like crazy. She's, she's only 50,000 behind. Could oh, Masto? Uh, yes. Cortez Masto? Cortez okay. No, no, yeah. it's less It's less than 50. It's She's much closer. Unless it changed yeah. in the last hour. She, it's down to something like she used to be back 50 or 60. She's down to eight or seven. It's very close. Yeah, yeah okay. and, and they, they still got votes coming in. So if she takes it, and I know Kelly's taking it. Yep. They don't even have I to probably. worry about the runoff, but I still know that Raphael will win. I feel that he's just such a, I don't know, he's an icon like John Lewis, you know, that type yeah. of guy. Yeah, definitely. But um, the one thing my guys were absolutely right about, you guys, if you listen to any of my shows, was that they said when this voting is over with, the one we just went through, everybody's going to turn against Trump. Is that happening or what? Yeah. It <laughs> seems like it is. Yeah. Yeah. We said everybody's going to turn against Trump and he's imploding, right, Andre? Yes. Oh, he yes. definitely is. Although I heard this morning this guy who is, I um, can't give his name. I always remember people's faces, but names, uh, they drop out. But he, he uh, writes for The Atlantic and he said that they're really in a jam because the MAGA people are so loyal to him even though if they had a brain they could see he keeps <laughs> losing and and he's got to yeah. be the worst candidate like honestly if he runs for president it's the perfect thing for, for it's perfect Democrats for Democrats. how are you going to win with this loser it's just not going to work yeah. if you lose yeah. in the midterms when you go into the general it's even worse you know people are panicked democrats hate yeah. trump so that's yeah. the best the best motivator is put in a a person you're going to vote against, right? So anyway, well, yeah. but he, he's definitely hurting because Murdoch is turning against him and a lot yeah. of questions being yeah. asked. But this guy was saying it still may not be enough because they're caught between a rock and a hard place. They can't win with him and they can't go without him because he'll just, you know, burn down the building. He'll, he'll he will. Say, uh, I'll, you know, he's and he put himself in that. Yeah, yeah, put himself in that situation. Yeah. He did. Yeah. Have you got your invitation? Are you going to the wedding this weekend? No. no. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's probably but, Mr. Uh, but honest to God, he's imploding. He's going to be he is. like mm -hmm. McCarthy, like I've been saying until I'm blue in the face. It's yes. going to be something where people will be putting their nose up. There's yep. also, they did a survey that the people in New York. Oh, yeah. Not in New York, in other place, places where where abortion wasn't the main focus. They mm -hmm. said even with Biden's number being so low and maybe people not necessarily liking him, but mm -hmm. they still voted Democrat because they didn't want cray cray. Yeah, <laughs> that's very true. Well, I can't thank the uh, young vote enough. 63% um, oh. of Gen Z went out to vote and they voted Democrat, those right. that percentage did. And um, and now people are calling for that to be raised to twenty one because yeah, it's not going to happen. But yeah, right. they can so ask for whatever the, they want. The Republican solution to everything is let's it change, is change the rules. Let's just change more things. Oh, that's yeah. what that's what DeSantin did. He changed the rules. Yes, he did. Yeah. He made it that's possible. that's a real crazy. That's a real crazy thing down there that went on. I think that disturbed me more than anything that they called some of these races like Val Demings. And there wasn't even like 13% of the vote brought in yet. And yeah. I was going, oh, my God, don't concede. Wait, you know. But, yeah, they did, which really was something else. Well, now that, that uh, Trump has admitted, some people say you can't believe him, but I don't know. What do you guys think? That he said that he's the one that got to Satan in there. He was oh. losing and that he sent the DOJ and the FBI. Yeah, but I mean, this is like it's just uh, it's, it's, it's Trump talk. Uh, any yeah. president, if you have a president, it doesn't matter. I mean, it could be the Hulk. Who cares? Some person yeah. is there, and they endorse you. That's gonna be to your favor, in sure. some sense. But he keeps making it seem like, well, if I hadn't done it, no. If Joe Schmo had done that, it would have been the same thing. He makes it seem like 
you know, he did something, you know, uh, DeSantis barely won that race back in yeah. 2018. Yeah, by 3,000 or something. By nothing. So, you know, now yeah. all of a sudden he's responsible for Yunkin. First of all, in politics, people don't care about you. If they see a path to their own success, they'll, True. they'll yeah. throw you the board. So, right. he's, you know, he's flitting around looking for things to say, but the numbers don't pack it. I mean, just look no, at what no. he well, Let me tell you, though, he's out for blood. He wants to destroy the same. Well, he can try. I mean... <laughs> yeah, but uh, the problem he with that is that the Satan won. The Satan won, yeah, solidly, and he's got. Oh, you know, cheatingly, Be cheatingly! You should hear the stories coming out of Florida. Well, whichever way, yeah. whether it's cheating or not, as a stand on the board, yeah. because yeah. you know, because yeah, because we could go back to 2016 and you know talk about Russia and manipulation. There are all sorts of problems, but as it stands, Trump is the one that caused the loss. Because look at all these people, all these yeah. guys that are saying you know the election. In 2020 was stolen. And that makes Trump mad because the ones he endorsed loses and to Satan wins. Yeah. Not only that, but he's blaming his wife for, for yeah. choosing Oz. Dr. Oz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that's funny. That's funny. Let's blame everybody. You could blame no, the dog I mean, and the cat. And then, you know? Like I'm amazed that, that he has so many followers when he you know he goes on camera and he says, Well, if we win, it's because of me, but if we lose, it's not my fault. Right, well, right. Something that's fault. convenient. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I mean, it that's is convenient. convenient. Yeah. Wouldn't we all love that in our job? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, do you know if Katie Hobbs, I, she's she's staying steady. Uh, she's you staying feeling? steady, and I believe she'll win. Yeah, that, the, one um, is, that one's the most yeah. dangerous, just because uh, I don't know if you saw Karnaki. He's like a he's like a you know whirling dervish of numbers, and he was right. saying that that there's this big uh, block of votes coming in, and he always looks back at previous elections and what, what right. happened. And he said that this big block that comes in from Maricopa in 2020, uh, Biden had a big lead on Trump and they cut it right down to 10,000. Like he, he uh -huh. made up 90,000. But in 2018, cinema surged with that it's drop the off. other it's, way. It's all yeah. these people that dropped off uh, day uh -huh. of mail ballots and stuff like that. So we don't know whether mm -hmm. or not like Kelly master Kelly in the Kelly uh, race, he could lose, but, some votes, but he's got such a big lead, he's almost certain to hold on. But oh, Hobbs has got a tiny lead, so it's scary. Did you lose to think. The at all? At, at who? At Hobbs and Lake? Yeah. Yeah, I did a video where I picked I picked Hobbs based okay. on what I see. But, okay. But based is, on your astrology. Time, yeah. I don't have times for either one. So you know, this is the thing with DeSantis. Like I had said, in, you know, I'll admit that I said in 2020 that I thought DeSantis would lose in 22, but I don't have his time, so I'm kind of flat. You know, I'm looking at. A reduced chart. All you need is one nice thing there around a birth time, and you can overcome all your, you know, deficiencies. Right, right. So, uh, well, but but DeSantis. The thing about DeSantis is this thing about presidency. He's a Virgo, and he's going into the presidency years, which are coming up, with mm -hmm. Saturn opposite. And Saturn opposite is very tricky territory unless it's opposite as far away from your son as possible. But in his case, it's right on it. And all you have to look at, two examples that I can think of is John McCain tried that and it didn't work at all. And remember that guy, um, uh, Gray Davis, he was recalled and that's sat on opposite side. So it's it's really mm -hmm. unfavorable. Mm -hmm. So this idea that he's gonna be the anointed, you know, replacement. Yeah. Uh, he's the only 44 was... years old. He's not, it's like, he's got plenty of time. Oh, I know. I know. But yeah. ever since I saw him with those patent leather white boots, that was it for me. He can't be a Virgo. Yeah. Virgos have that? better taste than that. <laughs> Could you imagine? I, I know. He looked ridiculous. You're absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. But the polls were wrong, Aspie says. And I agree with that. The polls are wrong. The media was, they need to change up the oh, way they stop listening to them. To the media. Yeah. 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 But it's, it's like a, it's like a, a disease out there that that keeps people you well, know I love, I love how they keep playing on the news over and over yeah all the yeah. republic it's going to be a tsunami i tell you i know i know <laughs> yes. you know that, that was yeah. more fox though you know because to be fair yeah it was fox yeah i, I wasn't was. I, I only check in to fox but now you know. fox is turning up against trump oh yeah 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 for sure for sure yeah murdoch i mean he, he's murdoch for sure he, he humpty trumpty but I think that they're publishing in the papers too, like all his, you know, um, different papers that he has, the New York Post, the Wall Street Journal. It's almost like, it almost feels like 
like the order came up from up top, you know, okay, we got to drop this guy. And so now all the, all the people before that were totally backing Trump are saying, well, you know, it's not looking too good. And, but mm -hmm. Trump, Trump is like a cockroach. He will, I'm oh. telling you, this guy, he will not give in, you know, until uh -huh. he's complete. There's no way. <laughs> well, right. so what was interesting is that, um, is that he lost, he's lost, he won a presidency, okay? And he screwed that up. But he lost midterms. He lost. He did. He lost four and times. Now he's losing again. Yeah. Right. Why would you stand up for him? Does that show up in his chart, Andre? Yes, it does. Of course, it his does. Chart, okay. His chart yeah. is. Okay. I mean, like if you were placing a bet on which is more likely to happen in the next two, three months, some important victory or getting indicted, getting indicted for sure, because he's got problematic yeah. planets, and and they don't get right. better; they okay. get worse. Because the they other thing worse. is with planets, you got to look at what the person is doing with them. This guy is like, he's just like a walking bag of corruption. Everything he does mm -hmm. involves some crime. I mean, look, he can't right. go too long. Like he gets out of the crime. presidency and he commits two major crimes, tries to over, uh, overthrow the election. And then he takes all the, <laughs> all the I know. espionage records home. You can't keep him quiet. He just buries himself every time no, he opens yeah, his mouth. Yeah, he, but yeah. he's never yeah. had a repercussion. Not yet. Well, I mean, the rep you know, in a way, think about it, though. The repercussion is the situation he's in. And yeah. you can say whatever you like, but I wouldn't want to be in a scene with, you know, seven different lawsuits and, and potential no, charges. And he's yeah. he's being sued for 300 million, you know, in New York. I mean, this is a, this yeah. is complicated as hell. And, and he's put the DOJ in a position where not charging him is much worse than charging him. Yeah. So uh -huh. what, what do you do uh -huh. with that? It's, 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 you know, and then, and then you see the astrology correlating. Yeah. Then you think that's you know, true. It's, it's, it's like a verification. Sure. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about 1111 because that was the impetus for coming today. And I want to talk about how we could manifest our best manifest for not only us, but also our state, our family, our, our uh, earth, uh, you know, everything. Um, and one of the things that I found, and Andre, I'd be happy to hear what you had to say about it, was that this is sort of 11, 11, 22 energy is a one. It signals new beginnings and sort of moving away from the detris from, from what we have been in for a while. Uh, can you speak to that at all? So how do, you, how do you get a one? Are you adding the digits 11, 11? I'm adding 11, 11, 2. Uh, and 22, okay, and that's so a 10 yeah. is a one, I believe. 10 is a one. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a, I, I don't, I don't know as much about the, I know. Like the numerology, numerology. is, is yeah. what gets, you know, connected to the astrology, sure. but, but it's, I mean, one thing that I could say is, and from the astrology it comes on, a, on a very near an eclipse. Yes. Scorpio, because that's what was going on. During, during the election, you know, people were saying, oh, eclipse, eclipse. And I just said, you know, eclipse, some people are happy, some people aren't. <laughs> like, yeah. Me on yeah. End, right. So, sure. but yeah, they're, they're also, they're moments of inspiration, hopefully, you know, again, not for everybody, but for whoever, whoever's tuning in to, mm -hmm. yeah, to manifest this, like to, to create, to be in a, in a place where you say, okay, here's where I am and here's where I could move toward, whether it's right and internally or externally or both. Right. And so, right. yeah. It's a, it's a matter of like planting the flag and and centering your mind on, on where you want that's, to go. Oh, that's a beautiful way to say that, it. That's kind yeah. of the meaning of when the energies are are more, you know, peaky is, is to peaky. take advantage of that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. 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 I got um, an email from a Juno. She did yes. a nice. Have you seen her? Yeah. I, yes, nice I put it. Video. I put it on uh, here for people to see at the beginning of the chat is a link to her video. Okay. It's yeah. really well done. Yeah, it's really I think well I'll put done. it on my channel too. Ascension you should. Portal. Yes, yeah. definitely. And you know, my yeah. number is 11. Is mm. it? Wonderful. My, my no wonder. numerology <laughs> is 11. Yeah. Is 11. Wow. That's fabulous. 11. Well, um, it's supposed to. I had a to... greatest dream last night. May I tell you real quick? Of course. I dreamt that the world was ending and I knew it was going to end. And it was something that was beyond our control. Kind of like, don't look up. It wasn't uh, an asteroid, but it felt nuclear. Oh, my and goodness. somebody I cared about was there. And I was saying, it's cool because we'll be pretty soon. We'll all be together on the other side. 
and nobody was really panicking. I felt very calm. And then I, I got in my car for some reason and I'm driving down a driveway to get out onto the main road. And I mm -hmm. look up and here comes a shuttle and, and it was flying so low. I could see the woman driving the shuttle. Hmm. And I thought, that is weird. And then I looked again and I started getting this tingly, like this feeling like, uh-oh. And then I woke up. Like, hmm. it's here. Yeah. Wow. That's just pretty powerful. Well, That's here's pretty hoping, powerful. Here's hoping that it's mostly symbolic. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but you know, the fact that you weren't fearing it, Linda, is a big deal. Because that was, I just knew yeah. it's time to go. Yeah. We're cool. Time to go. He's cool. I wasn't crying or panicking. Right. I saw the way I'm going to die. I'm going to be. Oh, in you did? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be oh. in the arms of Gerard Butler. <laughs> You're going to what? Say that again. I'm going to be in the arms of Gerard Butler. Who's Gerard Butler? Am he's I a great actor. Yes. Oh, she, okay. thinks, she thinks with, he's great. Yeah. Uh -huh. with, my toes, with my toes pointed. Yeah. Nice. Yep. There you go. There you go with your toes pointed. <laughs> Yes, there he is. There he is. He's Scottish. And and mine is I'm gonna go see Freddie Mercury. So there I'm also go. yeah. That's, that's the way it is. <laughs> so um, yeah. What what the good thing is that the energy is supposed to help balance our polarized world. But if we stay in that polarized thinking, then we bring more of that to us. So we have to be very careful. And I mean, I'm not pie in the sky. Oh, everybody needs to be happy. But today would be a really good thing that if you wrote down what it is that you wanted to manifest, wrote down specifically that, that what it is you want, think about what you want, because it's a day to double your chances of manifesting what it is you want. So don't ever ask for anything you don't want, because that will bring you that thing. You don't want that. Oh, I definitely want to gain another 50 pounds. I just I don't think you should say that. <laughs> <laughs> Who would wish for something they don't want? Uh, Linda, some people help. say, some people do. They say, oh, I don't want to ever do that again. Oh, hmm. yeah, it's just the words. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like, don't think of a blue tree, you know, that. Right. Well, you know, there was yeah. a, a Catholic thing, believe it or not, from a nun that I read today and I absolutely loved it. And what it said okay. was, um, St. Rose Felipe, Felipe Duchies or something like that. Do not look back to the past, nor forward to the future. Claim only the present for it holds God's will. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's perfect. And sometimes when people think they need to focus on the future, I tell them, if you could stand Stay here. in the present. Yeah. You know, you don't have, when people say, Linda, where are you going to be from 10 years? Buried? I don't know what the hell's going to happen 10 years from right. now. Too far I'm away. Yeah. Too this far happiness away. I feel in this realm right now, right. I'm for it. Yeah. 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 And, it, and it, in the manifesting thing, manifesting, it's, it's what you're holding or what you're nurturing in your mind in the now that leads mm -hmm. to that future. So the thing to train oneself in is, leave right. the negativity behind just that all that stuff already happened where, where are you now and it's from there through you know continuous focus because that's the thing i mean if you if you write it down today it's gonna have some effect but if then you forget about right. it and you keep going and you more or less return to something you were doing or you're focusing on the past then it has some value but not as much as if not you as much right. Right. yeah that which is likened to itself is drawn so vibrationally you can't create what you're not. If you're constantly right. thinking about That's who's right. coming back here or what you want over here, you're not a vibrational match to what they can give you. Yeah, they right. always answer your prayers. Sometimes they do. You're shocked. Oh my God, Linda, he left me. Were you even mm -hmm. happy? Well, now mm -hmm. that you say that, no. Well, mm -hmm. universe answered your prayers. So they did. Detective Kate is a good dream interpreter. Isn't she great? I love my Kate. Yeah, and she says that your dream transformation of the world as we know it messages for your eyes only. Isn't so there she is. Yeah. But dream detective Kate, what was that dream of Trump being in a glass coffin? Oh, oh, Remember does he think it was a glass coffin? It was in a it was in a this was back when he first won as president. 
He oh, was wearing okay. the red tie, the blue suit. I went up and I looked. Nobody was around there. Has lights. It's almost okay. like linen looking. Yeah. And it yes. Was in a shopping mall. And a few people. Were, and I went up and said, "Oh my God, that's really him." And he's dead. Yeah. Yeah. So let us know what you think about that. I that you know that could be foreshadowing because that is like Lennon. He sits there in that coffin, and people he probably would like that to happen. He, right, but and, I also you know, think yeah. my interpretation. We'll see what she says because okay. I'm not a dream interpreter. Are right. we all going to witness the fall of this man? Because it was in our lifetime. <laughs> the, the odds yeah. of that are very good. Very yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Question yeah. you know. So yeah. Andre had a dream about tiptoeing through the tulips. What? Did you, Andre? <laughs> With Tiny Tim? No, she's Linda cannot resist being a comedian. I'm telling you. <laughs> Those Leo planets, he's always figuring out. A... Uh -huh. What's the one-liners? Uh, tulips, what tulips? That's my answer to that. No, I, I don't, I haven't had any tulip dreams recently that I know of, but I might have, you know. Uh, that I uh -huh. sometimes, sometimes I dream and I can't remember what I dreamt and other times it's it's super clear, so. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, and you yeah, know, another we have thing a, lot of fun. a lot of things broke my heart. A lot of things uh, broke my heart, but fixed my vision. Yes. Mm. The hardest things we go through do that. Yes. Absolutely. Sure did for me. I know. That's, true. That's totally so, true. So, Andre, a lot of folks are, and including myself, are very wary of this Mars retrograde that is wreaking havoc on relationships or friendships or whatever. I wondered if you could Tell us a little bit more about it and how to how to deal with those energies because it's still January. I so, know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I don't I don't know how I I could really say that just because Mars goes retrograde, it's going to 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 do that. Okay. Um, but it's more where it goes retrograde. And in your chart. Okay. Yeah, and in the world too, like because for instance, okay. where it is retrograde is uh, a, a pretty dicey place for the US because it's near where its natal position is. And that's a place where there's conflict. It's why we have this whole MAGA thing. It's that very alignment. Right. So Mars parking right. there. And I'm actually quite uh, surprised that there hasn't been worse, uh, something, some violence or something. All I've heard are, you know, people like Carrie Lake, you know, the usual suspects mm -hmm. making some noise, but it's been pretty good overall. Uh, I mean, can you imagine Dr. Oz actually congratulated his opponent? You know, he did what a... What do you know? I know. What a decent yeah. human being should yeah. do. I mean, I think the mark yeah, of a person of isn't when you win. The mark of a person is when you lose. Can you shake hands and say, well yeah, done? That's and right. Try More integrity. Yeah. Right. So, but like Mars, Mars, uh, when when it's retrograde, really the only thing is that it's, it's, it intensifies the energy for a while. And it's good because Mars is a... Mars is um, an energy uh, planet, right. which can, right. if it goes and off war, the rails, isn't it? Doesn't yeah, it also? Because, yeah, war. Right, yeah. like when it goes off the rails, it can get combative and violent. But the idea would be, if there are projects or things that you know you've put on the back burner and it's been waiting, you know, to happen on the retrograde, it's kind of like Mercury retrograde when you start mm -hmm. doing your filing that you yes. about. So Mars, get to work on that. Whatever is is. Uh, pertinent to you, you know, during that okay. period. Um, and also depends where it is in your chart, because some charts, the uh, 23, 24, 25 Gemini, where, where it is now, because it's been in, the, in this range, that can be a, a bit of a dicey place. So then you that, that, mm -hmm. that you have to be aware of your astrology, you know, to know okay, that sure. Mars is a little more complicated. But So you need to look at your chart through where the Mars is located in the where, chart. to tell Where it is, okay. yeah. But okay. it's not a great, uh, to me, it's not... Yeah great astrology to blame you know blame a like, planet no i mean it no okay <laughs> but but we got to blame somebody <laughs> but is that mars helping with your, uh this putin having to back out and, and uh ukraine getting in there and taking back their cities that's been going on for a while and putin has bigger problems than mars because putin's chart like the Mars will be there, then it'll kind of move forward because it's, it's a two-year cycle and moves pretty quick. Right. It has the bigger, the slower moving planets lining up very poorly, which is why you can see that it's all maladjusted. Putin, 
Putin peaked at the same time as Trump back in 2016. He, he really pulled off a great caper there, worked really well. If he had invaded Ukraine in 2016, he probably would own it now. He would own it. A guy like Trump probably. would have helped yeah. him. But now it's all misaligned. And there's, you know, it, it doesn't get better. It gets worse because as, as we see the months and then the years pass, the planets get more complicated and Mars is going to be the least of his problem, you know, but okay. it could be. Now, it is true, though, but you say it could be true that the idea of a retreat or something happening like that, you can associate with retrograde. But, you know, the, the Ukrainians, it's good for them, right? Because yes. them, like they're conquering, well, they're actually moving but in. But I, I heard that that after they retreat, they're going to bomb the crap out of it. So that's what I was concerned about. I don't know if that's true, but it's like we're going to pull our people out so that all the Ukrainians will come in and then we'll blow it up. That's kind of what it's I thought I heard. Way. Putin's no. plight, it's really tough because he okay. has some, there was this article I saw where he's got doing trade now with places like India, Turkey, mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. in Europe, some places, it kind of surprised me because I saw Belgium is selling more to Russia than they used to. Weird things like that that didn't make sense to me, yeah, but overall, yeah. overall, yeah. he's spending a lot of money in a losing cost and he's fighting a much bigger stash of money through the western world that has a much, they're much bigger economies mm -hmm. so i mean to me this is not a good plan and the thing is he's doing this he's a libra he's got all these planets in libra and jupiter's on the other side and you see with jupiter when jupiter is either opposite or square people will do these expansions because that's jupiter and it takes them a while to realize oh i expanded into the wrong place i shouldn't have expanded mm -hmm. there i should have tried to do that and he's in a way you know, desperate to get some kind of win, but notice that it hasn't been working. You know, right. every time we hear news, oh, we got to give up another city. Oh, we got to give up another. Right. Because you know. he's taking people out of terminal illness places and he's taking them out of prisons and all that stuff in order to put them. Nobody knows what they're doing. I feel so bad for those folks. Too. Yeah. 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 Really I mean, awful. You know, isn't that though a bit of a, I mean, when you, people can get really down on the situation we're in, but look what's mm -hmm. happened even in the last month. So Putin mm -hmm. is completely mm -hmm. stalled. Bolsonaro lost. And right. Bolsonaro and Putin and Trump <laughs> and people like that, they're kind of in the same range. They, they, they sure. see the world as we should have a, you know, alpha male running the show, you know, a Correct. total liar mix up things. Well, that's not working. Now, it was a close result because Lula won by mm -hmm. smidgen, but I, I haven't heard yet about, you know, Bolsonaro deploying the army or anything else. So things are- No, moving. I haven't either. Yeah, yeah. In, a, in a pretty good direction. So, so Absolutely. that to me is is positive, you know, because uh, we so be back in 2016 when this thing was rising, you know, like a right. Like, yeah, and when Trump that's was in good. office, yeah, Trump that's was right. right. That's right. Oh, he'd be buddying right up with them. Um, so, do either of you see any um, Merrick Garland stuff? Some some movement in January? Good question. Um, yeah. That's my guess. That's my my sense of Garland is, is that one of the things because he's a Scorpio like like uh, Trump or like uh, Joe. Like I yeah. So mm -hmm. Scorpio from the sun sign it gets easier in the spring of next year. That's why right. it's a little weird this whole thing with the house, you know, because they they I'm pretty sure if McCarthy gets the house, he's gonna call Garland in and harass him and ask a lot of questions. Yeah. Because they, yeah. they, you know, they work. The Republican Party is all messaging. If we just throw a lot of mud and make noise, then that'll mm -hmm. convince people of something. So, but it should get easier from the where the Saturn is going. And yeah, that's okay. my guess that uh, you know that uh, there'll be a lot of indictments coming down, even on some yeah. of those people that, like mm -hmm. Jim. Well, of course, today they said that Kevin is not looking good. That the um, that People's Freedom Caucus are trying to push Jim Jordan into the position, and that a lot of folks uh, have said that McCarthy, McConnell, and um, McDon uh, Ronna, Mc uh, Romney McDon whatever her last yeah, name yeah. is as a, as a Mac, they all McSuck or whatever. Right, <laughs> so because because they've yeah. lost too much. Yeah, that was not yeah. a landslide. As right. it is, we don't know if they're going to get the house. In fact, uh, yeah. Pelosi told McCarthy, you know, you got to wait till your are sure. What right. are you doing? You can't announce to us this is the new format. You haven't even won yet. I know. And plus, it doesn't start till January if you did. 
Yes. Yeah. So yeah. What is he doing already? He really thinks he's in, and you know what? Naughty Name boys sometimes over. don't get dessert. Yeah, it's true. It's true because um, mm -hmm. I had said those things about how it's good for Biden this month, but then mm -hmm. when I, I I remember election night and you know you get all tense and I, I wanted it to be like I kind of forgot I put it out of my mind that they were telling you hey this thing is going to take a while to come. This happened in mm -hmm. 2018. They were counting into December, right? So exactly. right. Yeah. So then I saw that and I thought, oh okay, well, we did well, but then there's you know big uncertainty. Well, the thing is. The way this Jupiter thing is moving, that's what I put in my video yesterday. The way this Jupiter uh -huh. is moving, the more time passes, the better for, for Biden and the worse for McCarthy because okay. where it's going to land, it's not good for McCarthy, right? So yeah. to me, at best, maybe he squeaks it in. But yeah. I mean, can you imagine if he wins by a couple of seats, it means that... It's a nothing. Mar well, Marjorie mm -hmm. Taylor Greene and uh, and Matt Gates and Lauren Boehner yeah. whatever, are going to run the party. So they will not, really, you know? they won't let them. I'm telling you, they'll get people who decide not to vote their way. They right. have to get an accumulation of yeses. They can't just uh -huh. take it upon themselves to do things. And, yeah. and yeah. one guy, one new guy that's in there now says, no, I'm not into impeaching Biden and all this stuff. We have yeah. work to do. Right. Yeah. No. And, and, and th there was one astute uh, analyst who said there are several uh, people several quite meaning quite a few that know they're up again in 2024 and they know that if they behave like that they're going to get bounced you know in the, yeah. in the next election yeah. so so mm -hmm. there are all sort of there, there are all sorts of points and counterpoints but I, i'm still holding out i think there's still a shot at me this too me too I, I i i might be wishful thinking but it doesn't matter uh, my yeah. guys even though they were wrong on the details or they weren't wrong my interpretation was wrong they're mm -hmm. never wrong <laughs> For the, the, only, okay. the, the detail was first of all mccarthy's not going to be speaker of the house maybe they meant he's not going to be because he doesn't get voted in maybe, maybe. His, his people turn against him but i definitely felt it was going to be i even said the house was going to be a tight squeeze i remember i said yeah you did you did real yep. close and yep. then i also said because of this voting, what happened now, and we're so lucky, dear God, I swear to you, we took the Senate. The Senate is ours. Mm -hmm. But but the but the the reason this is, is going to really be kaboom is because they are going to turn against Trump. I saw that. Uh -huh. I said they're gonna start blaming him. And when they start doing that, that's when the explosions start. It's not gonna be business as usual. Yep. So then you're predicting we're gonna have a very entertaining period coming up. Oh, yes, yes. Get the popcorn. Get, the popcorn. get out the popcorn. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So, Can you imagine when they when they finally do the Netflix series on Trump, it's going to be one of those 10 years and 120 episodes to cover all the stuff. I mean, it's just endless. You can go on so many. It years. is. It is. Did not, you not hear? Waiting. I had no idea that before Melania, he dated a biracial woman. And he said, you got your looks from your mother because she was uh, a black woman, but you, no, it was the other way. You yeah, got, you're looking it was, another, but it was white, you got something from the white side, is what it is. The, yeah, I guess it was the father that was black. And so he said, but you didn't get, you didn't get brains from your, from your father or something like that. Oh so God. racist, honestly. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. And, then, and yet yeah. New York turned around and voted for the red uh -huh. when, when they're so anti-Semitic too. It's, it's mm -hmm. Oh, I know. That's so awful, too. Um, so today I heard a federal judge, I believe in Texas, that was appointed by um, Trump has knocked down Joe Biden's uh, student loan and they have stopped it. It's right yeah, now. It's, it's in going limbo. It's going you think down. so? OK. It's that was only a temporary hold. OK. Yeah. Well, Somebody said, Susan Lynn Guy said Biden would be the one of the greatest presidents in history. I what have so I too. been saying since I knew Biden was going to be president? He That's will right. be known as one of the greatest in history. And I'm glad Susan agrees. And you mm -hmm. know who told me that? Roosevelt. Ah. <laughs> Franklin D. Roosevelt said he'll be a lot like me, Linda. He's going to bring in something oh. like the New Deal. Wow. And I said this years ago. Sure, yeah. you did. I remember that. I remember yeah. hearing that you said that. And, and you know, presidents never get any kind of kudos when they're in office. You know, That's usually they're, they're just never appreciated. Like even JFK and what he did, he was, you know, that, that kind of 
of but stuff. Andre, he says that he's running again. Biden is running again. It wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me because uh, he's got a pretty good pathway going into the twenty fourth. You know, and it'll yep. depend because the, the era we're in, whether or not Trump implodes and they pick someone else. It's still mm -hmm. very MAGA infested. And so I think Biden, this is my guess, that the, the biggest reason he's really focused on being president, aside from, well, they always want to be president. I know that. I mean, these guys are into the having the power. But Biden, to me, is, is really worried about the U.S. And I think if he thinks people will stay with him, it's helpful because, you know, you, you give people a place to focus on. Like, he probably was the only person that could be Trump in 2020, the way I think country. you're right. Yeah. Yep. Even though there are lots of good people there. I mean, I, I love Buttigieg. He's a really smart guy. Oh, me too. Yeah. Uh, Kamala is, you know, super competent. I mean, lot, there are now mm -hmm. multiple women that could run the country. But this country, I mean, did you see the numbers for this election? The only reason yeah. any we're talking here is because of women's vote. If only men vote, they would put in Republicans. Every oh, time, right? No. Oh, definitely. That's what yeah. happens. You know, the good old boy network out. is alive and well in, in many cases. But yeah. yes, Lisa Foster says Mansion and Cinema are probably going to be still a thorn in our side. And yeah, I, I agree. We were with hoping that. we'd get more of a lead. Yeah. Yeah. You need, yeah. You, you would have well, actually, we will be. It won't be 50. It's going to be 51, 52. No, the most can be is 51. The most is 51. 51 plus the, plus the vice president, right? Plus the vice president makes it 52. No, the right. vice president. No, the vice president only counts when it's 50-50. Otherwise, like oh, if you have a 51-49, okay. you can't throw okay. the vice president in. That would oh, be great oh. though, because then, <laughs> then you could say, then you could say, okay, it's 51-49, and now we're gonna pass this thing and tell you know cinema and uh mansion, we don't need you because Pamela is gonna stamp it. It would be great, but they don't well, want to. Well, they, they said they said a lot of people thought because Biden wasn't high on their list, but the reason they voted Democrat was because they were tired of the cray cray. Right. Yeah. Well, well, we all are. Cray -cray. Yeah. Your yeah. great children are gonna carry that child by God. They just had no clue. And I'm gonna tell you guys something, I'm gonna tell it on my show coming up. There's something else my guide said. Do you okay? They did say that. After this, they're going to start throwing Trump under the bus. So that's oh, happening. Okay, well, that's They cool. also <laughs> said, I, the, also, I got this really strong that the Supreme Court is sweating. I could feel sweating under the collar. I think mm -hmm. because they know part of the reason the Republicans didn't win by a landslide is because of that. But yeah. the Republicans were asking for it. Well, they were I got another... by the Federalist Society to vote in accordance with what they wanted. But I think they know now they're coming into their just desserts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, by the way, if you are in the Supreme Court, you know, like that 12th century jurist, Alito, who thinks he's, you know, the second coming of you know, le the legal mind here. And uh -huh. I mean, if you're, when you're seeing Kentucky, Kentucky, so uh, one part of the ballot. They're putting Republicans in there in Kentucky. They're not going to put a Democrat. But the other part of the ballot said, no, we don't want that. that Go to the abortion thing. Right? Yeah. No, which yeah. tells you, I mean, if Kentucky's saying that, then what do we need? Do you want to check out Alabama? I bet you it's Kansas Alabama. Too. Kansas was yeah. voted red, but they said no on, a, on stopping abortions. Exactly. That really changed loser. it. Yeah. In yeah. a country like the U.S., the U.S. is a very, like uh, you know, both from the astrology and from, I don't know if you have ever heard those uh, uh, free economics guys, they're always doing these statistical yeah. studies. And they, they said the U.S. is one of the most individualistic, independent countries on the planet, like where, say, for instance, in China is the total opposite. There are people that follow, that's why they have a system like they have. But to try to right. do something like this, it's crazy because you're, you're saying, well, half the population doesn't have any rights. Well, what do you mean? Are you crazy? We're not living in 1920. This is different. So I thought that was a horrible move. They could have kept it at bay. Now they'll probably end up with a worse result. Like when this thing is finally resolved, women will probably and have one more of the freedom. the Republicans said, I want to go in there and I want to work across the table. Yeah. And that's yeah. Biden's dream. That we Somebody in New York together. said it, I believe. Yeah. The person in New York um, which surprised me a great deal. What yeah. about J.D. Vance, uh, M. Steve says? Uh, yeah. Hillbilly, you would is be guy. Is he a Trumpster? He's a Trump yeah. Well, no, he's not a Trumpster exactly. He he used Trump, though, to 
She's oh, okay. the only person that Trump could claim, hey, I, I christened. But it's because of Ohio. Ohio and Florida have become really red in the they last, have. last elections have. where Arizona and Georgia keep inching toward blue. So, uh -huh. but, but then that's the thing. You see, like, the Republicans are playing whack-a-mole. They go, oh, okay, Ohio, Florida, red. Oh, now Arizona, Georgia. Next is going to be Texas if they, you know, get another thing. So it's really yeah. hard because the population... People read books, you know, they're looking around, they're getting informed. It, it's complicated as hell to tell them stories that aren't true. They figure it out. They go, no, that's not that's right. That's why these people are begging for people to this wake thing. They want people to be sheep. They want you to not look up anything. Don't check out anything. They want to change voting to 21. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure, I know. You, because you, we're so, too woke. Yeah. yeah. We're yeah. too woke. Uh, Valerie wonders when uh, and when the House uh, our numbers from the change are removed from their participation, we're probably going to have more elections. You know, that's the that's the hope. But I there don't you know. Go. Yeah, that's yeah. it. The, the, the only thing is that that when you charge like the political charges, I think this goes with how Linda's always felt that she sees Trump in a legal mess, but not in not in the yeah. slam. Never saw him in jail. No. Right, because that is so problematic just the optics and you know you end up with many millions being upset but uh so the idea that you know you're going to have like the sheriffs going into the house and rounding up matt gates and so forth i mean that's possible but i, I wouldn't count on that necessarily i think I, you should think about voting them out don't don't, don't expect the marshals no but i do you. see trump throwing a bunch of people under the bus okay well that yeah i mean well are you kidding okay. me? they're already throwing weissman under the bus weissman okay oh yeah. why uh yeah the guy in his um what? What's the company Weisselberg. 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 Oh yeah, well of yeah. course. They're already saying he's the one that made all those decisions. He <laughs> just threw him under of the course. bus. Well, they said today that if if Trump announces a uh, Jared and Ivanka have, will have nothing to do also with this new uh, election or w would it never well, work for him it's again? A no, it's a no brainer. He's going to lose. Yeah. But, you know, actually, you guys, we should say mm -hmm. yes. Please, please run Trump because we will yeah. take yeah. Biden. will take it again by a landslide. Yeah, totally. I mean, like in a way, DeSantis, if he's courageous, the way he should he should start to win another way. It's really simple. You vote for me, we have a chance to win. You vote for that guy, we're gonna lose. It's that simple. You don't believe it's me? Just look possible, around. Yeah. What's happened? I mean, yeah. do, do you seriously yeah. think that you're gonna go into two years from now after this, yeah. and then you're gonna get more votes? No, you're not. You're gonna get if anything less votes because of how right. tired people are. Because you know this is too much. You can have a, a an opinion. You can have a strong opinions but what this guy does is too much it's just yeah all out corruption just go for you know. and he's always been that way oh totally yeah. his whole life there's right. a woman i read that's right now she's in portugal she's from switzerland and she lived in new york for a couple of years and she, this was back way back uh, 20 30 years ago she said mm -hmm. when i lived there everybody laughed at him they said he was corrupt he was terrible yeah. man yep yep but they're fairly intelligent people. <laughs> he well, knew what he was doing when he when he turned to be because he used to be a Democrat. Yeah, so the he reason he won is because of Russia. Yeah, Russia. Which, which, by the way, I mean that's another thing in our system. How it's so tribal. Sometimes I wonder: is it people don't know or they just don't care? Because I followed enough that I remember when. Mm -hmm. Uh, Lindsey Graham and and you know his crew were in charge of the Senate up to 2020. They mm -hmm. had that committee investigating the Russia thing, and they concluded in a document that they all signed. I mean, it was their thing that Russia had helped Trump to defeat Hillary Clinton. That it was mm -hmm. clear. But the, mm -hmm. at, as soon as they put the paper out, I remember seeing the news. Marco Rubio and and Graham and all the rest they went on Twitter to say the opposite of that. They said, "Oh, it's been concluded that." Trump had nothing to do with it. So they separate the truth. Oh, he threatened from them. the message. Oh, yeah. And to me, you can't be any more corrupt than that. But if your followers don't mm -hmm. care, you know, because I mean, yeah. look at the number of lies that Trump throws out and they keep following him. So they keep following does, him. Yeah. But also, may I say Trump's numbers are still better than to Satan. Well, for but now. they're but they're for worse now. than Joe, which makes me so happy. Yeah, that's because he yeah, he's polling less than. Yeah. You know, I watched a documentary about um, 
Trump in his golf course over in Scotland, I believe, and how he intimidated a woman who had land that he wanted, but she wouldn't sell it to him. And he cut her water off and he did all kinds of stuff. And there's a video of him in a car with her saying, I don't care anything about you. You're just nothing to me. And, and, and just, but no, you know, so it's global that he does this. It isn't just here. And, and people haven't, you know, she still doesn't have water in her house because he cut her water supply, at wow. least, in, you know, with regard to that show when it was on. But it's like he just thinks he's, you know, J.C. and Carly. Well, I'll tell you something worse. He's okay. got a place in Ireland, right? Hmm. I think yeah, so. Because I was on tour in Ireland and um, we drove by it and the tour guide said, yes, this is Trump's place in Ireland. Uh -huh. and, like I barely looked up. But anyway, she said, Eric Trump was in there and said, drinks for everyone on me. Oh. And then he left without paying for it. Of course he did. <laughs> you don't tell an Irishman that you're paying for his. No way. Yep. Away. So they yeah. hate him because of that. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Well, that's, very, that's very Trumpy. That's apparently what they very are. Very Trumpy. They, they hire and then they don't pay. And Yeah. So yeah, that's... Oh, with everybody, people that right, work for him and right. everything. Well, we're getting close to um, an hour well, here, but I ring my doorbell. I gotta see oh. if it's Gerard. Oh, you my. go right ahead, Linda. That's <laughs> fine. Um, do we have something going on with a Saturn Sun conjunction at all, Andre? Right Saturn. now, that's creating a Saturn. Uh, wait, Saturn Sun. Hold on. Uh, Saturn is in. Yeah. No, no, that can't be right. Um, no, no. There's a uh, at most. There, there's a okay. So Saturn, Saturn is in Aquarius, and okay. the Sun is in Scorpio. So that those signs are at odds. And at so odds, you get some tension on account of that, but not not enough to to not enough to create any kinds of issues. Well, like okay. to, to make a big dialogue because it, because it'll pass. The, the Sun will, will shift signs by the twenty first of the of November, and that's true. So, yeah. It's not yeah. really the, the, the big thing. We got thing, 10 more days of Scorpio and then we go into Sagittarius. Exactly, right? Yeah. And the big, yeah. the big alignments that really change things are things like now the Saturn is moving forward in, in uh, Aquarius. And even though it's at 18 degrees, which is kind of in the middle of a sign, by March of next year, it enters Pisces and never comes back to Aquarius. So it'll be in Pisces oh, with three okay. solid years. That does correlate with changing panoramas because it's Saturn in a different sure. sign, which then affects everything yeah. in a different way. So that definitely sure. you can you can take to sure. Wow. Yeah. And then well, that's some good news. And there's Jupiter too. That the Jupiter, uh, one of the things that it's doing, which again is why I'm holding out because I'm thinking, uh, you know, this could be good. So Jupiter is really in Aries. I mean, it kind of went back into Pisces for two months, which coincidentally is really good for for Biden. But actually, when it was in Aries, it was already really good because you noticed in the summer, that's when things started to really pick up for Biden. So he's fine there too. Right. He's got good energy there. It's just that now it's especially good. But then it goes into in January, February, March, April. It's in Aries, which is very good for Pelosi because she's an Aries. You always want Jupiter in your sign when you're trying to get up. Oh, when you're trying to get a leadership yeah, position or, really or anything. Yeah. It's not, okay. not perfect in that right. sometimes you'll see there's too much like uh, Bolsonaro has he's an Aries too but he had too many problems in the chart so then it just didn't work out there were too many other pressures but generally Jupiter's in your sign that's choice that right? so I'm, I'm hoping okay well it's bad for McCarthy mm -hmm. better for Nancy maybe we can <laughs> and I'm wondering if she's going to pass the torch over to Adam Schiff or somebody like that because you know especially yeah. what just happened to Paul that's a lot it's a lot she yeah. could, she could, but pe people are always trying to, they'll, they'll say to me, well, why do you, like, maybe it's not even about Nancy. Well, it is about Nancy until the decision is made. Of course. That's it right. Is. It She's is. I'm right. Is gonna, you know, this would Presumptive. be her winner, her, win or her yep. loss. I mean, after that, whatever, but right now, whatever. right. Versus Nancy, right. Absolutely. Oh, I'm telling, she's seriously thinking about stepping down. It's not even her being in charge. She's tired. She okay. looks at, and that was devastating for her, what happened to devastating. Paul. Devastating. It was just yeah. so awful. And it makes you feel like, I'm sure she's thinking about moving out of her house. Because it makes oh, you yeah, feel violated. Yeah. Really? It is. Yeah. It, it is, yeah. although with people like this, you know, in, in a certain way, 
it's almost better not to do that because it's like when you agree to blackmail or you agree to a terrorist uh, man. Right. And if you say, well, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get an AR-15 and I'm going to have it in my living room. And why don't you come in my house again and I'll show you what I'll do. I mean, that, that would be, which by the way, Aries, her sign, Aries people are really combative. You know, that, that's one of the reasons she's such a good speaker is she's right. constantly in the fight and nothing she backs down from. So that's the more likely response from an Aries, you know, rather than saying, oh, yeah, oh, my brother is like that. And I'm his polar opposite. And so he used to really upset me, but you know, I just know that's his personality. Him. Yeah. But you yeah. know, they, that she, that first said that the repubes were saying, Oh, somebody needs to take, pay that man's bail, that Patriot's bail. Yeah, sure. And then because it's so God awful and no, Paul yeah. Pelosi did not know that man. And it right. was no ugly tryst. Um, no, of course. And and then after all the truth started coming out, and they found out he was a Canadian. Um, he's actually yes. Canadian. Yes. Well, he, uh, an illegal alien. So now it's the Democrats' fault. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. yeah. Of uh, course, yeah. it is. It's always the Democrats' fault. I mean, every, everybody in this country is an illegal alien. You know that got that's very true. I mean, come on, <laughs> not me. There's nobody's here. Not me. <laughs> no, you're I'm you're illegal. Right. You're a legal lady. I came huh? in from Andromeda, you know. <laughs> oh, wow. Totally well, cool. I'm going to let you both go. It's been almost an hour, and I can't thank you enough for oh, being here you today. So it's great. Your earrings are really cute. Oh, thank you. I got the sun and the moon. I love the it. Stars and the moon. I mean, the stars That's and the moon. Very, very yeah. astrological. Good for you. Very you astrological. Great. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thanks Thank to everybody. Guys. I'm going to stay a little longer because I want to talk about how to manifest and, and do some of that. But I want you guys to go and, and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank, Thank you so you very everyone. much. Thank Both you. Of you. Thank I'll you. talk to you soon. Okay. Right. Bye. Bye-bye. Very good. All right, everybody. Wow, what a great show, honestly. I wish we could have answered all your questions. Um, Linda and uh, Andre, of course, very, very busy people. Uh, just lucky to get them here today and so happy to uh, be able to spend time with them. Um, I, um, I, your questions were all wonderful. Uh, we would have not been able to answer a lot of them. And even though uh, my intention was to be very, very positive, I think all of us are still in that limbo space and we're all needing you know, somebody to, to, to give us some guidance about what was coming on. So, um, you know, again, just remember, I'm going to just spend a, just a short period of time going over this. It is a great day to manifest. It is like the best day of the year. And it's double uh, than what you would normally do. But just as much as Andre said, it's great if you can you can do it, but then keep doing it that's going to be important because you can't just do it one day and not keep your focus on what, what it is that you want because you're going to have other things go astray. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. Um, so yes, uh, we got new beginnings coming and the 11 is a doorway. It's a doorway. And I find it so fascinating because the, the buildings of nine 11, were a doorway to some other kind of world that we ended up with. And that was in a negative sense. But we can make this 11, 11, 22 a much bigger doorway for us. Um, it, it, this can bring us, they're all master numbers. They can bring us blessings and faith and alignments. They can snap us out of the 3D world and help elevate us into the 5D world. We can polarize ourselves. We have justice, fairness, equity, and we can rise above our competition, which is very important. And that's exactly what Linda said. She said, some of these Republicans are now saying, I wanna work with both sides. We don't have to be competitors. We can work together. And that's the unification uh, of, of that plan. So what I am recommending you do, if you want to really see if you can manifest whatever it is, is, Sit down very quietly, maybe sage yourself or put on some candles, whatever it is that you'd like, and think about what it is you really want. We tend to think about what we don't want, and we don't want to do that because that's not fortuitous for us. So we want, what do we want for ourselves? Do we want more peace? Do we want more harmony? Do we want to feel as though we are protected in the world and you know, whatever it is, 
do we want a Mercedes Benz? I mean, why not? You know, to go for, go for the gold. But remember, if you want a Mercedes Benz and you get a Porsche, you know, the universe thought you needed that instead. What do you want in your relationships? Do you want to get along better with people? Do you want your love life to be better? Do you want to start thinking about why things uh, didn't work in a certain way and then plan on writing what your what your uh, partner, what your best partner's qualities would be? Um, you know, all these things are, are there for you. In your career, the same thing. You can think about what it is you want to do in your own career, how you want to elevate yourself what you're willing to work for, what it is you want to do, do what you love and the money will follow. We also want to think about what we want for our country. And obviously from what I've seen here in the chat, we want some changes because we've done this and we are seeing it happen in the now. And we want that to keep rolling out and being better. What do we want for our planet? Well, we want to have clean air. We want to make sure people don't, you know, um, destroy it with nuclear weapons and so forth. So then you need to model what you seek. It should be by manifesting it. Um, where your attention goes, it flows. That's where the energy will flow. So you want to make sure that you put that attention on the things you want. Um there is also a powerful way for manifesting that I just want to speak of just for a few more minutes. I realize after an hour, everybody gets tired, so I don't want to make anybody have to stay, but you can come back to this later if you wish. Try the 369 uh, method for manifesting. So doing this method is a great beginner-friendly way to manifest. It just involves writing down your affirmations and your goals and it's one of many manifesting journaling techniques. Get very clear on what you want and write it down. Sometimes I write them down and then I type them up and put them on my mirror. So that every time I go in the bathroom, there they are and I'm reminded of them. Come up with a corresponding affirmation. For instance, if you want to manifest more money, say, I will receive a large sum of money. I will receive the job that I have applied for. I will find the perfect partner for me. Write down your affirmations three times in the morning as soon as you wake up. Then in the afternoon, write those affirmations down six times, same affirmations. And just before you go to bed, do it again, but do it nine times. Nine times. I'm doing this wrong. Okay. Repeat for as long as you want or until you see results. It's called the 369 method. And it's a lot like what Susan Lynn has told us in the past, where we take a card every day and we, we put that into a journal. Journaling is one of the best techniques because you're taking your hand and you're writing it out. That really matters. It really matters. It's different than typing it. Once you hold a pen in your hand, it engages your brain and brings brings you down into your hand and you get you get that coming from source through your hand when you're typing it it's fine some people don't like to handwrite but it's not the same you don't have the same sort of energy with that um, in the tarot the one means magician as you well know from the tarot series you have the magic everybody You've got what it takes. You have the tools sitting in front of you right on the table. All you need to do is reach out and pick up which ones you want. And you're able to uh, transform what it is that you have or what you desire. Um, let's see. Then uh, the number 11 also grants us in, uh, access to the fifth dimension. This is where time and space don't exist. This is a great space to be because we've been talking about now or in the future. And now is always the best time to sit in your energy. On 11.11, we experience 5D energy in the form of synchronicity, alignment, and acceleration. It's like you get to step through a door and move on. And this is the way you do it. Will you see those results immediately? Maybe not. But I wouldn't say to be discouraged. You have to keep working it. 
And I know that so many of you here in the chat, every time I come on and I have a show with somebody or the mediums come on, you all are working on what it is you're doing. And it's just heart, it's, it's heart lifting. It really is. You amaze me every single day, every single day. Um, you might experience sometimes in this 11-11-5 um, dimension that you happen to be at the right place at the right time. Oh, I love that when that happens. Actually happened to me. Um, and it was, uh, I went into a chat room back in 2000. And it was the right place and the right time. I met my husband. He was the only one there. And we've been together ever since. Was that fortuitous? Yes, but I have to say it was synchronicity for me and for him. Um, it is a reassurance for you that the realm beyond that you are working from, that you're on the right path and everything that you are seeking is also seeking you. Believe it. Pay attention and tap into the fifth dimension. It is the time and it's readily available to you. Are your angels and spirit guides sending you some signs? Maybe spirit animals. I see my deer all the time when I'm when I'm sort of in that flow. Um, it might come to you through art, music. You might turn the TV on and it's just the right thing that you're going to see, even if it's an advertisement. If a random song gets stuck in your head, think about the message. Don't just think about, oh yeah, that's a cool song. I remember. What's the message in the words in the song? Very important. So based on the uh, hermetic principles, the law of attraction teaches us that everything we manifest is created by our own thoughts. Why do you think that the people that are so negative manifest those negative things? Every second you're thinking things into existence. Pay attention if your mind wanders. Um, on 11.11, uh, we want to make sure that we're focused on bright and positive outcomes and not fear or worry. So move away from that right now. We got through it. We made it. Let's not fear it anymore. Work with the energy to channel your thoughts in service of the highest path. And maybe wait and meditate tonight at 11.11 if you can. I mean, I would have said to do it this morning at 11.11, but it's okay. It's 11.11 somewhere, right? Um, finally, my feeling is that what we want, sometimes we don't get. And sometimes that's very powerful because it protects us. Because that thing that we wanted was not good for us. Or for someone else that we are aligned with. That's very difficult though. Because we want to believe that we can do this. And yet at the same time, we don't want to make something worse for ourselves. So at the very end of any meditation or any manifestation, say the words, this or something else now manifests itself in divine time, in truly acceptable ways for the highest good of all concerned. Because we are not alone. We're not an island. And maybe it wouldn't be good for your path, right, Lisa? Yeah, this or something better now manifests itself in truly acceptable ways for the highest good of all concerned. And so it is. So let me see if I got any. Uh, oh, you guys are great. You have so many wonderful comments here. I love this one. Uh, holy cow, look around at who's on earth with you. Look at who you manifested showing up to be your sidekick. Oh my God, yes. Look at all the people here that are your friends. Sometimes friends on YouTube and Facebook and all those other places can absolutely be better for you than some of the people that are in your real life world. So yes, you've manifested this. You have brought this. But yes, with great success comes responsibility. Absolutely. I know that my husband and I tried to open an office five times. And four times it did not work out. And it was like, well, why is this not working? We're pushing, pushing to make it work. We couldn't make it work. It wasn't the right time. It wasn't the right place. It wasn't the right thing. I almost gave up totally. 
But when it started to flow this last time, it started to flow and there were, yeah, there were bumps, there were rocks in the river. Um, and yet today celebrates one year for my husband's business and he's doing okay. He's got the doors open. He's got employees. He's got patients coming in. So, you know, um, you just have to sit back sometimes and wait and see what the universe brings you. Yeah, absolutely. Lease your planning for healing, your self-worth, and oh, that's wonderful. We all need to do that. We all need to plan to heal ourselves. Yes. Let's create the highest wishes and the sweetest dreams. Thank you, Kate. Um, let's see. Andrea uh, Callis, uh, voting in America is crazy. Yep. Yep. Um, I wish we'd followed other people. I really do. I really wish that our, our plans here was was. Uh, uh, you know, a lot better than it is. Uh, Juno, if you get a chance, those of you who missed it at the beginning, go to the Juno sphere. She also talks more about the 1111 on her channel. She's done a beautiful job with a PowerPoint and all kinds of information for you. If you have more questions about it, she does a lot of topics on her channel and she's just a fabulous gal. So abundance may come in ways we don't expect. Look for the small things. Once you recognize them, Spirit will bring you more abundance, not necessarily money, more love, more appreciation, more um, understanding, more peace. Those things are very abundant. They really are. They're very, very abundant. Um, I'm glad that you understand the 369. Good. I, I think that, that it's very important for people to know and how to do that. And uh, thank you, everybody. Lise, last night you dreamed about an owl on your shoulder and it flew away. This morning I went to the new doctor and he had photos of owls on the wall. I love that. How synchronistic is that? That's beautiful. Um, Dream Detective Kate and I will be on on uh, the 15th and we're going to be doing another show. And so bring your dreams. We love you to, to look at your dreams. Absolutely. Oh, thank you, Connie. Thank you, everybody. I, I would have to sit here for hours and, and just thank everybody so much uh, for being here. A lot of my regular supporters who I love and admire so much. And all of you new people who have subscribed and also came to see Andre and uh, Linda G, who's just a hoot anytime she comes on. So Andre is so well versed and he's sort of a, a you know, bounces off Linda G. So it was fabulous to have them and fabulous to be here. Thank you all. I love you from the bottom of my heart. I thank you for being here. I wish you good, good manifestation. And take the time today to think about it. Do a little ceremony if you feel comfortable with that. If you don't, then simply write down what it is that you would like to manifest and start the process. Because every 1111, you have that opportunity again and again. Thank you. Oh, every day. But 1111 is pretty powerful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you guys soon. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.